Uh, hello everyone. Um, just wanted to give you a very uh, short uh, little video today um, just to uh, give you my experiences on uh, setting up the the new uh, Radeon uh, 5700 XT uh, graphics card under Linux. So this is the latest um, Radeon card under the Navi architecture. Uh, and it was just to let you know that it's actually working pretty damn well. Um, so in terms of setup, uh, you obviously need, at the moment, you need to be based on a Ubuntu 18.04 uh, long-term uh, stability release distro or one of the variants, so I believe, uh, like uh, versions of Debian that it's based on and um, other Linux distros that are based on around uh, Ubuntu 18.04 should work. Um, if not, your mileage may vary. Uh, I have seen posts on the Arch Linux forum uh, where people have successfully managed to uh, build the driver and build their own uh, graphics stack. So if you want to get into all of that and build your own uh, kernel uh, modules and get it all set up, then you can do that. But the by far the simplest uh, approach at the moment is just to stick with an Ubuntu 18.40 release until the uh, Radeon driver from AMD makes it into the uh, mainline kernel, which probably will be fairly soon, uh, may well be September. Uh, it should be uh, certainly not uh, too far in the future. But in the meantime, the fastest and simplest way to get up and running is to go with the Ubuntu one. Um, so uh, basically all you need to do is if you uh, once you've installed your Ubuntu or Kubuntu or uh, equivalent distribution, uh, just go to the AMD Radeon driver page here and you can um, you'll see the download link extract the tarball, run the installer, you've got all the installation instructions there. Uh, reboot and all should be good. Now, my particular setup, um, you can probably see from the video, I've got uh, two uh, 4K screens. I've scaled, I've scaled it 50% for uploading onto YouTube. Um, so I'm running a dual screen setup uh, and initially, uh, I thought I would go with uh, KDE Plasma. So I actually installed the Kubuntu uh, variant, uh, but I was um, disappointed, disappointed with the uh, results from that experiment. Um, unfortunately, I just found all sorts of bugs and issues with KDE running in a dual monitor setup. This was even after I added the latest uh, backports PPA uh, and updated to all of the latest version of the KDE Plasma desktop. I was just finding that there was all sorts of problems related to uh, the kind of power saving or when the monitors would uh, sort of switch off uh, and then you would come back and uh, entire sort of wallpapers and desktops had disappeared, or your panel settings had gone. Uh, the uh, activities kind of view was being um, that allows you to sort of um, effectively create a, a two by uh, a two dimensional kind of matrix of workspaces. Uh, that was not working as it should. I just found all sorts of bugs, and I just got a bit fed up of, of that. So. Um, it's wonderful eye candy, but just not sufficiently stable in its current incarnation for me. Um, incidentally, I did try when I first uh, installed uh, my operating system on my new computer here. I did try to go with the uh, KDE Neon because my understanding is it's fundamentally based on Ubuntu 18.04. So it should have worked, but uh, after installing the graphics drivers and rebooting, uh, I had a problem that I've had before, and that was the, the display manager was just a blank screen, and I was getting, uh, looked in the logs, I was getting segmentation faults. Uh, I did try and faff on and fix it, but 
uh, it just seemed not worth the effort so at that point I went for Kubuntu that installed perfectly I was immediately at uh, native resolution although obviously with the software renderer driver rather than the proper Radian driver um, anyway painlessly installed the uh, Radian driver and then I had immediate full performance uh, after the reboot but yeah KDE Plasma not so successful under dual monitor so uh, I had a look just trying to decide what are the desktop environments uh, or window manager I was going to use uh, and there's obviously an enormous choice. Uh, I've used uh, things like Emacs uh, Window Manager when I was sort of using Emacs a lot. Uh, awesome uh, Window Manager is fantastic. Uh, lots of people love iFree. You know, uh, if you want to spend a lot of time uh, tinkering away, editing configuration files uh, to your heart's content, you can spend many a happy hour uh, doing so. Uh, but um, I thought I'd give Cinnamon a try and I was very pleasantly surprised. So in its default configuration it looked a bit uh, plain Jane, a little bit kind of uh, dated but um, you know it was very straightforward to replace all the themes and I've got it uh, how uh, sort of set up in a dark mode now and as you can see I've got the uh, adapter noco nocto uh, theme and the papyrus adapter icons and got it all kind of looking pretty nice or to my eyes anyway nice with dark mode and i'm just very very happy with the uh, cinnamon so far it's been completely 100 percent stable absolutely reliable uh wonderfully fast and responsive i particularly like the fact that you know you can have uh, if you add a panel on each uh, screen, a separate panel on each screen, you can then add a window list widget on each screen. And when you've got the two independent window lists, rather intelligently it figures out, oh, I'm only going to display the windows on that particular screen. So that's just a, a really nice intelligent touch that they've um, put into the kind of defaults of this. Um, you know the you've got the hot corner so it's very easy to uh, sort of flip between your desktops that way and I particularly love the fact that if you just click uh, and then so as if you're going to drag and then use the arrow keys you can instantly swap the window between desktops that's a lovely uh, feature and there's all sorts of other handy key bindings and we've got the the, the nice alt F2 uh, launcher if you just want to, you know, uh, launch a application or terminal uh, and just immediately want to type the command. So all in all, um, I'm pretty happy with this setup and uh, uh, more videos to come, but thanks for watching.